Greetings. Welcome to part two of the special Opening the Gates Qigong. This system that um, I developed over the course of my uh, studies and practices combining Tai Chi, Qigong, Yoga, and various um, sort of Western modalities. So um, today what I'm going to do is add in um, a bunch of movements that I didn't include in the basic part one. Uh, these can be done and added into the movements that you already are practicing in part one, the basic routine. Um, and um, there aren't many of the leg series that um, I need to add in, just a couple. But most of the, most of the work we're going to be doing today will be uh, hand, arm, and torso exercises. So do get up, move around, and follow along, and I hope that you are going to enjoy these. All right? Okay, so the very first, um, uh, let's just uh, kind of warm up a little bit by turning the waist, getting ourselves in tune, mind and body, and rolling down. And up. Gently shaking. Shake the arm, throw away, open up the shoulder. Good, shake. Throw away. Good. Shake out. Yeah, so a lot, of the, a lot of the things that we're going to be doing today involve standing on one leg, balance, that sort of thing. So they're a little more challenging, and, but also fun and interesting. Ah. Turn the waist. Rolling down. And up. Integration. Feet shoulder width, standing upright. Breathing in and out through the nose, directing the breath to the dantian, to the lower belly. Inhale, and inviting down the energy to smooth, putting yourself in tune with the energy that is around us. All right, very good. So the first, uh, usually what, how we start is working with the ankles, working with the feet, uh, knees, hips, and all that. So we've done all that. Let's work on, on a movement I call reverse lunge. It's a lunging movement, but we do it a little bit different, you know, a little bit differently. So here's how I do it. We're going to step back instead of step forward, and the back is nice and straight, and we're going to be using the sort of the legs to do this movement. And then we're going to use the leg to come up, then change and go back with the other foot. So what this is going to do is develop a lot of strength in the balancing leg. See, there's a tendency to one to, to do this. Now, if, if you're having any problems at all with, with strength, you can use your hands to help you. Other than that, 
what, what I would like you to do. Keep the back straight and use your leg to come up. Now, one thing you don't want to do is make sure that when you do this, when you step back, that your knee does not protrude, go over your toe. That it should just stay um, in line, that your back is straight. So we're stretching all this, this hip, also opening the hip joint as we do this particular movement. So I generally do this like two or three times on each side. Then, what we're going to do the next time, the last time, step back, touch your back knee, reach around, place your elbow outside of your knee, the hand goes up and twist and look upward. So this is sort of like a spiral twist. Keep the spine as sort of erect as possible. You just want to feel a nice twist and you want to hold it until you feel a bit, you let your breathing relax. Then coming back and up and doing the other side. Stretch back, touch the back knee. Come around, put your elbow outside your knee. Twist up, look up. Very good for spine, good for hips. So you just sort of breathe, do, hold it until you, your breathing becomes sort of normal. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Okay, the next of the leg series that I'd like to do is what I call the foot sweep selection. The foot sweep selection. And this is really good for all of the martial techniques of Tai Chi or any, uh, any martial arts. Also excellent exercise for the hip itself. So what's going to happen is, I imagine that my opponent or partner is there, and first I'm going to sweep around and sweep their ankle. Then I'm going to reach around, grab their knee and kind of pull their knee. Then I'm going to kick the waist, kick the chest, and finally kick the head. So there's all these various levels that we're going to be working with. So we're going to start off on the ankle. We do basically 10 of these each side for each level. So, so the hand can be here for balance. So first we sweep around for the ankle. Sort of like a nice little sweep. So two. So nice and easy. You want to feel this coming from the center into the hip joint. Nice, loose, and relaxed hip joint. Eight, nine, and ten. Now for the knee, again, you're going to come up, you're going to reach around and kind of pull a little bit. All right, that's one. Two. And I kind of rock back, get a little bit of exercise for this front leg. This is very good not only for your balance of, of your standing leg, but working all the joints of this other leg. Now here we're using strength for pulling kind of feeling. So then the waist, imagine that you're going to kick about waist level. And you want to make this a nice smooth kind of horizontal kick so it comes up and around. So a nice smooth easy kick around. This is a really, really good series for, for the legs, hips, for st overall strength, balance, stamina. Very aerobic, gets to be very aerobic. Very good. Next is the chest, so you want to think up about chest level. Now if you can't do these, don't worry about it, of course. Just do as best you can. If you can only do the first two or three levels, that's fine.
Now, the last one for the head, we put our hand up. We're going to kick towards our hand, and you'll see this a lot in, <clears throat> excuse me, in Tai Chi, that there's a lot of uh, this high kick. It's a very fancy looking kick. So we put our hand up there and make a little, little hit so we know we're kind of doing that. Okay, that wasn't too bad, was it? So, do the same thing on the other side, and you thought you were done, right? Okay, so, first, ankle. So just as if you were sweeping close to the ground, we sweep off the ankle level. So basically, 10 times each level. Then knee, reach and pull, reach and pull. Our old friend Andy Lee sure could use his legs like I can use my hands. Good waist, smooth and easy. Really open and lengthen the leg. Try not to, we're not going to kind of shorten it and do it just from the, from the kind of like bent leg. Nice straight leg. This is what we call a horizontal kick, that the leg comes up and sweeps across. If we were kicking, we'd be kicking with the side of the foot in this particular foot kick. Good, chest. And head, so put your hand up, or it can come up. You can hold it up or bring it up. Very good. Whew. It's nice and warm in here. That really helps to warm up. So let's just do a little shogun, kind of just relax a minute. Okay, so I think that's about it for the for the lower body that the exercises that I wanted to add in for you, okay? So do refer back to the first uh, group of movements that we did. We really did a lot of complete work on the lower body in the first part. Okay, so let's move to the upper body. Shake out a little bit. Now, what we did in the first time was just made a fist. This time we're going to use what we call a sort of a fudging or explosive energy fist. It's very interesting. And that you just flick the energy down into the hands. So if we just say if we do it one hand, it's a very loose hand and you flick the energy down, it makes a fist and immediately relaxes. And this is, we use a lot of this in uh, Tai Chi, in, in martial arts, it's sort of like a, it's a, a very, quick little flick. So this is very good. It's very firm and hard for a moment, for just a millisecond, and then it relaxes. All right, so we can do one hand at a time. So then we can, we can add a second piece to this sort of fist, and it's a little releasing shake. So it's one.
So not only I'm making this, but I'm just sort of letting go of any tension that maybe was built up. Good. Those of you who do Tai Chi know this as single whip. We have this, this whipping action. Very good. Okay, so that, this is really very good for fingers getting the energy down there. It takes, it'll take a little time possibly to get it. There's another exercise, it's the same exercise, but what we call, it was part of uh, my, my Zen studies, what's the sound of one hand clapping? And of course that was one of those things that you pondered for years until you reached your enlightenment. But I just, I figured it right up. The sound of one hand clapping, not bad, huh? Okay. Okay, so next let's work some more on the hands. And this is, a, this is very good. In, in today's world, we tend to curl the hands a lot like this for computer work, you know, writing, gripping. The, the, the hand tends to be like this. So we want to work and expand the hands in the other direction. So what I do is I kind of place my elbow against there and using my other hand, you want to expand out and stretch out, stretch these fingers. Now, see, I want to get the fingers as close to the forearm as possible. Yeah. Now, we all sort of have uh, an arthritis enough that we can't do that. I think a small child can do that, but um, not many adults can. So this is a nice kind of stretch back. And you want to do this, you know, so you kind of feel a stretch. Now, Let's say we want to work this a little bit more. So what we do is get it as far down as you can and then try to straighten the fingers. Try to bring the fingers up. But don't let yourself. So you're working now. I'm taking my muscles from the most extreme that they can go and I'm trying to work them and strengthen them this way. I'm working, working, working and then relax. And when you relax you'll be able to take up a little more slack. Then you try to straighten them again, try to open them, try to open them, and then relax, and it should get a little bit more. Good. So, shake out. This one is very important that you shake out after that. Okay, then, for the thumb and wrist, what we're going to do is take the thumb and stretch it back to touch, if you can see this, touch the uh, wrist. You see? So you want to do a nice squeeze on this. Can you see this? Like that, yeah. Now if you can't, like a lot of people have a hard time, if you can only do it this far, that's fine, or whatever. So what you want to do is, uh, you know, squeeze it back. And again, say we want to say, one, if you can do this fairly easily, we then want to, you know, work this muscle. So now I'm going to try to bring it back, you know, try to, bring it back up. So I'm going to work it, work it. Now this is uncomfortable in a way. I can really feel this. Work it, work it, and then relax. And then it becomes a little softer again. So work it, work it, work it, and relax. Okay, good. Shake it out. Okay, next, so you want to work some twisting motions for the ligaments and the joints. So for this one, Start with the palm facing you. This is my right hand. The left hand comes around and grabs hold of the thumb. I then twist the hand around to the front. They do this a lot in Aikido and other seizing arts so that when you do get uh, uh, grabbed and twisted, it won't hurt so much. So here, the hand is twisting pretty far forward. Now if I want to again work this, I'm going to try to counter, I'm going to try to turn it back. And as I twist, you see I'm working those joints. When you do this kind of resistive work, you have to be careful. Work, be very conscious of what you're doing. Work, 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 feel, and then relax, and you should be able to take up a little more slack. Good. Then shake. And we want, now want to twist it the other direction. So the first one I had the palm inward. Now, palm outward, 
hand grips the thumb edge, and this time I turn it out to the right, so I'm twisting outward. Again, I'm feeling it, you're feeling it probably in your forearm, elbow, wrist. Feel it, breathe and relax. Now if you want to, again, work it harder, try to bring it back to straight. Work it, work it, work it. And then relax and take it up. Good. Next is more for this wrist. I want to do both combinations. I want to bring the palm towards it and then I want to bring the fingers back. So it's a little uh, up and down motion. Here I'm just holding the hand basically and moving the wrist up and down. So this is good. I usually do this about 10 times. Those other ones, those kind of those holding ones, you just do it as long as you feel comfortable. This I, I just want to do about 10 times. Good shake. Now the last, the last one that we want to, to do is in this particular series is what we call the archer. It's one of those uh, yogic movements. And what we're going to do, I'm going to turn around, is taking the right hand and bringing it over the back. The left hand is going to come up and we're going to grab hold of the fingers. Like so. Now, for me this is not too difficult. For a lot of people, it's quite difficult. So, um, if you can only, you know, what I recommend, the best thing is, if you have like a towel, or something like a, like a dowel rod or something, you can, if say I had a towel, I could grab one end with one, and then work my hands together to try and get closer. Because it, if you don't know how far, you know, it's a bit hard to, make up this distance here. But um, if you had something to hold on to with both hands, you can kind of work, you know, walk your way up there. And otherwise, if you can grab, you can grab. And you can hold this for a little bit until you feel comfortable and then relax down. And you'll probably feel the shoulder when you come down feeling a little uncomfortable. Okay, so that's a kind of a, a, a hand a wrist a series. So let's do the other side. So. First, we take the fingers, pull them down. In uh, my own particular personal classes, what I've done is I, I say to people, if anybody can touch their fingers to their forearm, I'll give them free classes for the rest of their life in the studio. Now, I probably shouldn't uh, advertise this worldwide, but um, in any case, I put it out there. So if you can do that, then you can come to classes for free for the rest of your life. How's that? Good. And you can work it. Try to straighten them. Try to straighten it. Try to straighten it and relax. Good. Thumb. Thumb squeeze. The nice, easy squeeze. This for some, for me, for some reason, has always been easy. For some people, I have a very difficult time with this, and you know, we all have, we all have our areas that are easy. So try to open, try to open, try to open, and then relax and squeeze. Good. Twisting. Palm faces you. Reach around the thumb side and twist outward. This is very, very good all, for all, those, all the connective tissues of the forearm, wrist, elbow. Then try to straighten it. Come back, try to straighten it. And relax. Good. Then palm outward, twist out, twist to the left. Try to bring it back. Okay. Now there's a whole seizing art where you grab things and, and take them in the wrong direction in Taiji called Chinna. Chinna. And um, 
It's amazing how painful if you just grab like the little finger and twist it the wrong way, how hard it is. So that we're trying to, to open these joints up and, and twist them and, and like so. Okay, wrist, up and down. Good, Archer. So, reach up, reach back, walk your hands together, grab the fingers, your hand pulled, and now if you can't do this, if your hands are separated, that's fine. Just do as much as you possibly can. Once you get this, breathe and relax. I once heard that um, some, in some society, some place, they handcuffed people like this, you know, in this particular thing. And I tell you, if, if you hold this for a couple of minutes, it does get to be fairly painful to the joint. So I, I, I can't imagine how that would be, but good. All right, so, so the next what we want to do is continue working on connective tissues. I think the connective tissues are the thing that really limit us. You know, the, the tendons get short, the ligaments get short. So this is a, 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 an exercise I call twister, and it has a lot of use in the martial arts, and it has twisting kinds of things. There's, uh, the, the feeling is a sort of a neutralization and an attack kind of motion. But it's very good for uh, lots of things. So here's how we're going. We start off with the, we're going to start with the hand and wrist, then the elbow, and then the shoulder. So for the hand, we, it, we let the little fingers curl up and around and back. So there's a little twisty, curly kind of thing. So I usually do about 10 of these. Now this one is really coming from the center that there's a thrusting out here at the end. All of these have a, a twisting, thrusting quality of stretching. Now for the elbow, you let the little finger lead. Try not to move the shoulder and then it comes over and the fingers are facing backwards. The palm is facing backwards and then you twist over. So it comes in and thrusts out. And this is really done, again, with the, with the center and torso. Now, I remember being in Hong Kong, uh, you know, the, 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 the traffic directing kind of guys go like this, you know, okay, like this. Same kind of action. But it has a thrusting, straightening quality to it. Okay, then for the shoulder, same thing. Now this, again, the little finger leads. And you want to come in tightly to the shoulder and thrust out. Here the palm is upward, and then it twists over. So the palm turns kind of upward. Little finger comes in, little finger leads, and comes out. So it's a, it's a tight circle for the shoulder, and again, it has a thrusting out quality to it. And finally, in this sort of thing, is what uh, we're going to do the whole body. We're going to do the whole body. It's like a side bending kind of motion. So the feet are fairly wide. So again, so this time, the hand is going to come up. Now, I'm going to use, for those of you particularly who have any back issues, it's always good to support your back when you go down, bending over. So here, I use the other hand to sort of support. We're going to bend over to this side, around, lift up, palm upward, and come down. So I do this 10 times, so around, stretching around, and over.
very good. Those are twisting things that are re really good. I like all that twisting because we don't normally do that in our, in our life. Okay, so let's do this side. Okay, fingers and wrist. wrist. There are really a lot of Tai Chi movements that use this sort of a twisting. The Chen style of Tai Chi uses a lot of twisting action. Elbow. Now remember, try not to move the shoulder very much. This is the elbow we're working here. Thrust, thrust, thrust down, thrust down, thrust down. And this is actually coming from the floor up. The whole body. This is very. This is very strong because there are good Tai Chi movements, needle at sea bottom, and movements like that that use this kind of a thing. Good. Shoulder. Hmm. This again is a, if this would be neutralized and come in underneath. If I had to, somebody here to show you, there's good martial, a lot of martial applications for a kind of movement like this. Plus, it's really excellent for the shoulders. Good whole body. So I take a little bit wider stance. Stretch over and around. Lift up and relax. Very good. That one is very good for overall conditioning of the body. Very, very, very good. I love the uh, trunk exercises of Tai Chi and uh, of this opening the gate system. We worked, we keep loosening towards, towards the center. Loosen the periphery, loosen the legs, loosen the arm. And then we end up with this trunk. And this is where all of the power of Tai Chi comes from. This is uh, where we want to build a very stable inner structure. People who have back problems, generally it's because they have weak abdominal areas. And, um, you know, we have a lot of, you know, eating problems, uh, intestines, and internal organs aren't functioning right. So all of this internal work can help massage our internal organs and work on strengthening our core. So let's add in some more interesting movements. This one I call Jack in the Box. And the feet are come together a little bit closer. And I imagine here that I'm in this box and I get closed in. And then I push out and fall to the side. I come up and come back into my box, close in come up and down. So this is called Jack in the Box. Now if you wanted to develop, this is relaxing, ra rather kind of relaxing. Now if I wanted to develop strength, what I would do is imagine that there's a, something heavy and push up and push over, particularly pushing over with the outside hand. Then grab and pull and pull down. And push up and push out and pull down. But that's not as much fun as just nice and easy and relaxing. Jack in the box. Very good. Shake out. Um, so after this series, sometimes it's good just to shake a little bit and turn the waist. <clears throat> uh, another uh, good, very, very good torso exercise is we don't lean back 
very much. Again, the muscles that, that uh, pull us in are much stronger than muscles that open us out. We, there's not so much need for this, there's more need for this. So we tend to, to be more like this kind of posture. You don't see too many people walking around with this kind of a posture. But so that's why it's, it's good to do that other kind of posture sometimes. So this is uh, a kind of a forward bending opening exercise. I'm going to put my left foot forward. These are called a kind of a chest opener exercise. So I put the left foot forward. I'm going to be using backwards and forwards, what we call bow and sit stance in Tai Chi. So I hope I don't, let me know if I make too much noise with my microphone as I do this one. Okay, so we're going to inhale, gently arching back. I'm sitting on the back leg, so opening this back, quad, hip area. Then exhaling, come on the forward foot and just drop the hands come overhead. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Very good for opening the chest, working the spine, working the legs, shoulders, a lot of good shoulder work. Making too much noise with the microphone? Yeah? Okay, I'll do it a little bit less. But so you're getting the idea. So we're going to open back and relax. You can, so here I'm going onto the forward foot. You can also do it on the back foot. You can go forward and back. This tends to work the front hamstring a little more. Here we arch the back in a slightly different way. And here we're working the hamstring of the forward foot. So it's a little bit different stretching. Or I prefer, personally, going forward. Take integration. That's a, that's a, a nice, easy exercise. Um, sometimes when you've when you've kind of worked up a lot of chi, it's good to kind of smooth things out a little bit. Kind of, you know, just take a breath and let things calm down a little bit. Okay, now another movement that I, I, I really like and that is very good for the torso, for the arms, shoulders, particularly shoulders, but, but basically a whole body exercise, is an exercise I call Lash LaRue. Now, when I was a kid, there was a TV program uh, I don't remember the name of him, but it starred this guy, Lash LaRue, and that ends up that Lash LaRue ended up marrying Mae West, so he had quite a life. But he was this cowboy, wore all black, and his weapon of choice was a whip. And he had this whip, and some guy would go to, you know, pull a gun on, and he'd go crack, and off would go the gun. So I use this sort of image of Lash LaRue to help me. So let's start with the left foot forward. And again, I'm going to use bow and sit stance. We're using bow and sit stance. So here, you're going to imagine you've got a whip. I've got a whip in my right hand. And I'm going to 
come forward, swing this around, and then whip it forward. So we're going to use the torso, swing it around, and whip it forward. So the movement gets to be turn, whip. And you see this is the torso turning that makes this happen. Turn, turn. Very good for opening up the shoulders. Very good for waist spine, the legs are working, good for chi, we're, we're, we're getting the chi up and then whipping it, very good, and if you, you can kind of do it in a little more aerobic fashion, and then Backhand is going to feel a little different, but we're going to do it backhand. So you come back, swing it around, and whip it. Swing and whip. Swing and whip. Whip. You know, since I started doing these opening the gates in particular, I do everything both directions with both hands. I've gotten much better with my left hand, I used to be really bad with my left hand, because I'm right, very strongly right-handed. And I've also gotten good at doing things backhand, getting the energy to move backhand. Most of us don't do that kind of thing. So you can swing it around. Very good for opening up the shoulder. Good, shake. Other side. Really think it's important to do everything both sides, both directions. Okay, so here we whip it around and crack. Whip it around and crack. I inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Generally in this series, opening the gates, I don't try to match the breath with the movements. It'll automatically happen. Just breathe through your nose, generally. Other direction. So you want to be using your torso to do these actions. Use your torso to do these actions. There you go. Now here's a, a this is a, this is a little series that I think is quite good. I, I mostly don't do this too often, but when I do, it feels uh, really good to me. You know, there was a. I can't remember what his name was, uh, uh, Steve, um, Charles Atlas. When I was a kid, you know, the, the Charles Atlas was, had this whole thing about developing body strength, and it was basically based on dynamic tension, what we call dynamic tension, or using resistive yourself to resist to develop your muscle strength. So I, I use this uh, in my, Tai Chi is sort of like that because sometimes we call Tai Chi swimming on land or we imagine that, for instance, that the air is sort of thick and we have to kind of push it out of the way. So what this does is it develops a certain muscular strength. So let's do a little, little series for the arms, uh, develop arm strength. And um, so the first one is what I'm going to do is do a little pumping up action like this. And I'm putting my left hand on top of the right and resisting my ability to come up. So I'm working, 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 and relax. Working, 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 and relax. Okay? Working, 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 relax. Now, that, that, that works particularly for the biceps. Now, to do the triceps, we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to try to move down. 
This time I'm going to hold and I'm going to try to move down, but I'm going to resist, 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 relax. Resist, 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 relax. Resist, 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 relax. So this very good, this, this series is very good for, for uh, working and strengthening all the connective tissues. Next, this motion to work the um, rotator cuff and the abductors and adductors of the shoulder. So I'm going to try to open the arm up, but I'm going to resist. I'm not going to let myself, I'm going to try to open and open and open and relax and try to open and open and open, relax. And open and open and open, relax. This really works the back of the shoulder. Then I'm going to try to move inward. So put my hand here and try to press inward, 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 relax. Works the inside, inward, 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 relax. Inward, 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 relax. Very good. Now, I put the hand behind, and it's a little different, works a little more, so I'm going to try to move upward, but I'm not going to, so I'm going to try to come up, 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 relax, up, 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 relax, up, 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 relax. Now I'm going to try to go down, 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 relax. Down, 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 relax. Down, 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 relax. Okay, since I'm back here, what I'm going to try to do is pull the arm away. But I'm not going to. This works the shoulders. I'm going to try to pull, 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 relax. Pull, 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 relax. Pull, 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 relax. Good. Good shake. Now, uh, we can do the same thing up here, you see. We can bring the hand behind us. So here I'm going to try to pull my arm away. And I'm going to pull, pull, relax. Pull, pull, relax. Pull, 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 relax. And we can just do this, go this way. Try to go this way. Press, press, relax. Press, press, relax. Press, relax. Okay, those really work. Get the circulation going. Really work these muscles. You know, it's like uh, very, very strong. Okay, so I will just gently, this, uh, just generally go through the other side. So first up. And you can come up, once you get this idea of how dynamic tension, you can just create your own exercise. Up, 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 relax, up, 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 relax, up, 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 relax. Okay, now I'm going to try to go down, 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 relax, down, down. I really like the feeling of working muscles. It's very, very good. And I don't like going to a gym or anything, but I can just, in the comfort of my own home or my own backyard, open, go to open. Resist, resist, resist. Open, open, open. Open, 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 relax. Then in, 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 relax. In. You can do all kinds of things. Like I could be up here and try to go down. You see, that uses something a little bit different. Or try to go straight this way. Okay. That uses something different. Oh, there's just uh, uh, um, amazing possibilities. So I'm going to try to go up. Up, 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 relax. Up, 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 relax. Up, up, relax. Then, down, 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 relax. Down, 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 relax. Down, 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 relax. Good, I'm trying to pull away. Pull, 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 relax. 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 Pull, pull
pull, relax. Pull, 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 relax. Pull, pull. Good. Over. So I'm going to try to, to try to pull away. Pull, 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 relax. Pull, 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 relax. Pull, pull. Good. Press, 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 relax. Press, press, press. Okay, very important to shake out after that. So you can do this with the legs. You, it's a very good thing to do with partners. We, in classes, we do this with partners. One person is resisting the other one. Very good, shogun. Okay, let's do a few other little odd uh, exercise motions. One is what we call beating the celestial drum, or this is very good for the nervous system. And we're going to, we have in the back of the neck, we have on, not, there's a spine comes right here, and then on either side we have a ridge, occipital ridge, and right underneath this is a little hollow. And what we're going to do is just tap in there, and you should probably feel a little shock wave that goes down the legs into the feet. That's what we want to feel. If you feel that, that's good. If you don't, that's okay. And it just stimulates the nerves that run up and down the spine. This is very good if you start to get tired and you're driving. You can do this with one hand, one hand on the wheel. We call it beating heaven's gate or beating the celestial drum. It's very good stimulation. You can tap your head stimulate inside. You can rub your scalp over top of the skull. Very good to separate and move this. And you can move your face over top of the skeleton. Pull your ears. Now one that's very good is for the eardrums. You put your fingers in the ear canals and then you pop them out. Very good for eardrums. Then for the teeth, for the gums, for the mouth, we tap the teeth. You want to do it quite firmly. It stimulates by tapping your teeth together like it stimulates all of the bones of your body, and particularly uh, your teeth. Then we revolve the tongue, work the tongue around. The tongue is a muscle, very important to work it all inside and out of your teeth. Curl it every way you can think of. Curl it under, curl it up. Press it up against the hard palate very firmly. And any saliva you accumulate, let it drop to the dantian. You can, your kidneys right behind here, you can rub your kidneys, it's very good. Kidneys, your energy source, one of your great energy generators. Rub your kidneys. It's also good for your shoulders. Usually we do that about 49 times or so. To then take a moment to just stand and relax. And as always, we finish with Integration breath, inviting down the yang chi, cosmic chi, down through the body. As it moves through, it attracts any spent chi, any released toxins, anything you don't need. Let it filter down through the body. 
down the legs, out through the bottoms of the feet, through the floor into the earth, three feet down, grounding it, leaving you open, relaxed and comfortable. Energized and integrated. Always holding the image in your mind of happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Body. Mind. And spirit. All right, so I want to thank you very much for, for joining me. And um, please do this for yourself. You'll feel a lot better, and you'll make me happy, too. All right? So thank you, and enjoy your life.